Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to another one of my vlogs. I just got back from yoga, so I am very, I just feel, I feel so good. I get like this yoga high. Oh my gosh, it feels amazing. I do a morning meditative flow. They offer it at my yoga studio Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. And I usually go every single time they offer it. It's just, it's an hour and a half of meditation, like guided meditation, but also yoga, very like slow, and it's just the best way to start my morning. That is at seven in the morning, and right now it is, I honestly don't even know, because my clocks are not changed yet. So, oh, it is nine o'clock. I thought it was eight o'clock. I'm, I'm, see, I'm in a little haze, but this morning, this video, I thought it would be perfect since I am feeling so great to show you my morning routine. My morning routine is I finally, for the, for the season of my life that I'm in right now, I have perfected my morning routine. It has been this way for... I don't know, maybe a month now, ever since we redid the Florida room. I redid my outside screened in patio uh, specifically for my morning routine. That's how important it is to me. So I thought it would be a great thing to go through my morning routine today with you. So I didn't film early in the morning because honestly I didn't even think of it. But I woke up this morning at 6 o'clock and I immediately warmed up some tea in my little tea kettle and I made some green tea. I wanted to show you guys what I use if you were interested. It is, uh, I don't know, I usually get a different brand every time I'm not married to one brand, but I'm thirsty. Hold on one second. Mm. The yoga that I do in a hot yoga studio, so I sweat a lot. But uh, yeah, I just get a different brand every time, usually for my green tea. Um, and But I like this one, I really do. It gives me like just a little zing of, of the energy that I need to just like get up and out of the door, um, but not like a jittery feeling. So I do two tea bags of this, and then I also add this Shatavri, um powder and my friend Valentina told me about this because this is the herb the Ayurvedic it's like an Indian herb that she that helped her get her period back so I was taking the tablets and now I'm switching over to the powder that she used so I just put a teaspoon of that in my tea and this is just my morning routine for the days that I go to yoga um, on the days that I don't go to yoga I don't bother with having tea I just go straight to my coffee I wanted to tell you what I bring to drink on the way home from yoga because I am in a fasted state. I do not eat before yoga. You really shouldn't eat before yoga, especially an early one. Um, I want to make sure my digestion isn't messed up or anything like that. Um, so I don't eat anything. So I want to make sure that I am taking in some BCAAs, branch chain amino acids. So I take my one up nutrition, vegan BCAAs, and then I add a scoop of glutamine. I do have it. I can show you. I love, these are my favorite BCAAs. I will say I'm not like in love with the flavor. It's not like, it's not like a cotton candy, you know, it's not like one of those super, super fake flavors. And that's actually why I like it because this is an all natural vegan BCAAs. And it shocked me that so many BCAAs out there are not vegan. If you look at the ingredients, like it will say contains milk contains wheat like for BCAAs there's no need and that's just that just goes to show all the fillers that are in these products which I don't want that I want something that's natural and I love uh, I love so much <laughs> that one up nutrition offers a all natural vegan line I actually have their vegan protein as well because it is all natural only three ingredients so these BCAAs are not sweetened with anything artificial there it's sweetened with stevia and monk fruit I think um, so let me just show you I have the mango lime flavor 
and um, that's what I do. I do one scoop of that and then I add one scoop of L-glutamine. L-glutamine is really great for digestion and it was actually recommended for me um, when I got my blood work done and my um, hormones were so low that they recommended L-glutamine. Um, I don't know, I guess, I don't know if that supports your hormones at all, but that's what they told me to do. And L-glutamine also is great for recovery and joint support and um, just helping you with your soreness. So I drink that on the way home from yoga. And now I'm gonna have my coffee. And my coffee is, uh, it has some calories in here. Um, I think if I tracked every single thing, it has maybe 230 around 230 calories so let me show you why let me go grab my coffee now that it has brewed and i just do 18 ounces in my keurig i do 12 ounces and then another six ounces and i do it on the strong setting i do have a little button that says strong i have the keurig espresso and latte maker i love it um i got it at costco <laughs> i love it so much so I can have a latte, a cappuccino, or just a regular cup of coffee. So I do 18 ounces and it fills up my, my coffee mug with a little bit of room because I'll show you I'm going to need the room. And to show you the coffee that I use because I read somewhere and then I've also listened to multiple, I don't remember who has said this, but I did read that organic coffee is really what you should be drinking. I hear that like if you didn't consume anything organic, coffee should be one of them. So now I only drink organic coffee, but um, it's perfect because Newman's Own has a K-cup. That is what it looks like. So if you're looking for it, it's in a brown box and just make sure you get the organic kind. And so let me just switch my camera view so you can see everything that I have going on here. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you what I do to make my coffee. I have my little Ninja, um, what is this called? A blender, <laughs> sorry. I usually don't talk in the morning. After yoga, I do this and I go straight into my Florida room and I journal, so I'm not used to having to use my brain. <laughs> um, so what I do is after I have my mug of coffee, I pour it into this container for my blender. The reason why I don't brew my coffee in here is because it doesn't fit. It's too big to fit in my Keurig. Um, so now what I do is I add, let's do the maca. So I have maca powder here. This is, I get it from Amazon. It's red maca because there's red, yellow, and golden maca. And the red maca is a root. Um, and that specifically, that specific red maca really helps with hormone support. Um, so that is what I get. This is what I order from Amazon. And I do two tablespoons, or I'm sorry, what am I doing? <laughs> I do two teaspoons. Kind of like heaping teaspoons in my coffee and it has like a little bit of a nutty flavor at first i, I feel like i had i've been i've been doing this for almost a year now <laughs> um and it's really it's not only for hormones it's really great for your endurance and it is has a nutty flavor so i love the flavor that it gives my coffee actually and then i have cinnamon here i just get my cinnamon from costco because i use it probably in everything and I don't do like a specific amount I just I do a lot though I would say probably a half a teaspoon and then this I actually found this at Marshall's at home goods so you can look this up I'm sure it's on Amazon it's OMG that's the brand organic meats good organic reishi mushroom powder and I love this. This is like a, ch this has like a chocolatey flavor. It's really good. I love adding it to my coffee. And let me just read exactly what it says. A celebrated and powerful nutrient booster, reishi mushroom powder contains powerful antioxidants and anti-inflammatories. It blends smoothly into tea, water, and chocolate. So actually at the end of the night, it also does like relax you a little bit. So at the end of the night, this is not every night, maybe, I don't know, every couple weeks, um, I will, and there's no reason that I go every couple weeks. It's just like when I need it or want it, I make it. But I do like a little hot cacao drink with um, cashew milk or almond milk or flax milk. And I do like a 
teaspoon of the reishi powder and then I add like two tablespoons of organic cacao, not cocoa, cacao. And then I heat that up on the stove with the milk and I make my own little hot chocolate. So I'm gonna do one teaspoon of the, right? Or half a teaspoon, I can't even remember. One teaspoon. It, I, it's so automatic every morning that I do this that I don't have to think. So now that I have to think, I'm like, what do I do? Uh, so I add that in. And all of this dissolves really nicely in the coffee. You don't have to, it's not clumpy. It's not like a smoothie or anything like that. And then I have my collagen peptides. I don't have the container. I like to put them in these glasses. I have all my protein in these glass containers. I just got them from Aunt, um, Marshall's Home Goods. And I just do one scoop. So it's about, it's about 10 grams of protein in one scoop. Um, I don't do two scoops because I have my breakfast shortly after this, which is, has protein. So I don't need all that protein right now in like the span of like an hour or two. Um, and then stevia, of course, organic stevia. And then some flax milk. I love the flax milk, Good Karma, with, it's the vanilla flax milk with protein. And now that I am vegan, oh, and I guess I have to address, I am vegan right now. Um, just trying it out, loving it, but I am using collagen peptides. Sue me, I don't really care. I'm not going vegan for like the, an the reason for the animals. I'm going vegan just to kind of see if it clears up my face and how it makes me feel. So far, it's the best decision I've made, um, but I'm gonna have collagen peptides. It's really great for joints, hair, skin, nails. I really want it to support my joints. That's really why I'm like really wanting to use it. And then also because of the protein. Um, I'm an athlete. I won't, well, I, you know, I, I train, I care about being athletic and I wanna make sure I'm getting enough protein. So that's gonna stay in my diet, but that's really the only thing. And then a splash of milk. You can use creamer. I just prefer the milk. Um, and I like this because one cup of this has eight grams of protein, which is great for milk. So um, I can just add, I can have like yesterday I had, I made a matcha green tea latte with this just to get myself some more protein. And then I added a scoop of collagen peptides. So my matcha, my yeah, matcha latte had like, I don't even know, um, I guess 18, yeah, 18 grams of protein in that little latte. So I love using the flax milk. And finally, we have some healthy fat in here. So I am loving this so much. I feel like I'm gonna use it forever. It's the Bulletproof Brain Octane Oil. And I just got it from Amazon. I keep saying Amazon, but you can get it from Amazon. I got it from Vitamin Shop. And the I just use kind of like a heaping teaspoon. Um, it's recommended that you work up to a tablespoon, but it really, this brain octane oil keeps you full. I mean, it keeps me full. It's great actually, like when, if I have a lot of work to do, I will like add this to my coffee and I am so focused and motivated. I don't know, it's the craziest thing. I'm so focused and motivated when I add this in my coffee, um, but it keeps me full and I need to eat. So I actually don't have the whole tablespoon because I need to be hungry soon for breakfast. Um, so if you are an intermittent faster, this would be great to add um, into your coffee. And now I just blend it up. So I'm gonna blend it all up. And because I added the collagen and because I added the oil, it creates the best, look at all that foam. Oh my God, it's so good, this coffee. Ooh. I started having, Brian, I showed Brian how to do it and now he is hooked. So now I'm just going to pour it in my mug. Oh my God, look at that. It's all foamy, it's so perfect. This is a ritual. This is This coffee is literally the reason why I wake up aside from yoga. But now that I, the 18 ounces of coffee is perfect because now I have, it's like at the rim. Oh my gosh, it's so good to me. I love it so much. Uh, and I don't taste like, ooh, 
I do taste like the chocolatey reishi though. It's so, so good. I got it at Home Goods, but you really hit or miss with Home Goods. So if you are interested in the reishi, I would really look into it because, I mean, anti inflammatory properties, it's an antioxidant. And then, um, um, the chocolate flavor, it's really great in coffee and then to make a little hot cocoa, especially if you struggle with a, having a sweet tooth at night, this would be a great addition. So now I go to the most magical place on earth. Let me grab my phone because I play music out there on my speaker. I do not go on social media, but now it's time to go to my Florida room. So let's go. Little Miss Luna, you wanna come outside? You know what time it is. It's morning routine time. You coming? Yeah. All right, and this is my bliss. This is everything to me. <sighs> I love it. We're gonna get more plants to put over by the table, but this is where I sit every single morning. My little candles are on. I have them on a timer, so they are on with the, with the time change now. Um, it's light out, but I used to come out here when it was dark and the candles were lit. And so let me just set everything down, my coffee and my water. And now I have a little incense burning. Luna is just searching for little geckos. <laughs> and I sit right here for about an hour, sometimes more. Um, this is my little setup. It, this never leaves. Sometimes I light the candles if it's dark. And here is my crystals that I have out here. They are charging and clearing. I leave this on the, I leave them on this selenite tab to charge and to clear. And then I have my sage and I light this. I'm just gonna put the camera down and kind of like let it go while I'm do, actually doing my morning routine. But I just wanna kind of take you through exactly what I do. I sage um, and the sage is great for just clearing any energy that I picked up yesterday, last night, this morning, just anything negative, any negative energy that I wanna clear from my body and I just call in abundance, love, light, compassion. I just call in all the good vibes and then I pick a card from my oracle deck. Um, I'll show you today what card I pull, but I just let my spirit guides and my angels kind of, I pray to them and have them give me the guidance that I need for the day. And then I really take this card everywhere with me, but this is from yesterday. So I'm gonna pick a new one. And then this is the book that I'm reading. I love it, Daily Love. Sometimes I don't have time to read, sometimes I do. Um, this is my journaling from yesterday. And so today, after I pick my card, I'm gonna um, write out what I'm grateful for, my intention for the day, any to-do list that I have, things I have to get done, and then I journal on the card that I pulled, and also I just journal anything that's on my heart, and then if I need to journal more, I have my bigger notebook here, and then I just get into some reading. Um, and yeah, that's what my morning routine looks like. So I'm just gonna put the camera down and do my thing, um, and I will talk to you guys in a little bit.
Now that my little morning routine is done, I guess I still consider this part of my morning routine. So I am sitting back in my room with Luna again. <laughs> And I'm eating my oatmeal, which I've showed you a million times. I think the recipe was two videos ago when I introduced this series, but it's just oatmeal, a chia seed and flax seed blend, vegan chocolate protein powder from 1UP Nutrition. I am sponsored, so if you want to get a discount, you can receive 20% off with my code XTINA. I love their protein. It's the best be vegan protein that you're going to find. Um, only three ingredients, all natural, all organic. You cannot get a cleaner protein than the one that 1UP Nutrition has. And then um, some blueberries cooked in with it, so they're nice and warm, all mixed in. And then I topped it with a pink Himalayan sea salt, cinnamon, and coconut mana, which is just coconut butter melted, and it is heavenly. I have this every single day for breakfast. It is about 550 calories. Um, I don't track anything except for the oatmeal just to make sure that I'm like, I, it's just hard to eyeball oatmeal, so I just weigh out 40 grams and then everything else I just eyeball based on how hungry I am and what I'm feeling like and so I'm gonna listen to a podcast and eat this and try to ignore all of the yard work going on across the street. <laughs> Breakfast is done. I went for a little walk just to stimulate my digestion. It always works So if you have a hard time um, With your digestion try going for a walk after you eat and now I am gonna get on a phone call with one of my business clients in about in about 10 minutes um, and I'm then gonna go to yoga another yoga class um, there's a special teacher and a, a special class that only happens uh, one day a week So I am gonna be doing that class and then right after I have a 90-minute deep tissue massage and then It'll be 530 at night and I'm gonna come home and um, Check on my emails and get some work done if there's any work to do I'm sure there'll, there'll be a couple check-ins. I'll probably have to answer and then I am making my lentil curry, my homemade lentil curry with butternut squash, sweet potatoes, and broccoli. It's so good. I made it last week and Brian loved it. I loved it. We ate it for a couple days in a row because it was that good. So that is dinner tonight. It is Tuesday today, just so you guys know. I don't know if I said that. Uh, so we'll have some leftovers for the week. I love having leftovers, especially with my homemade curries because the taste actually gets better with time. So it's really awesome. But I'm gonna stop talking. If you have any questions about a morning routine, I really recommend you try to establish a morning routine of your own. You're not going to get a perfect morning routine your first try. I've had like 17 different morning routines and it's gonna change again. You know, it's really, it changes with the season of our life that we're in and what we have going on that day. But I really would recommend you get up a little bit earlier and have some peace and quiet, maybe journal, put on some music like I do, light some candles or some incense and just really sit with yourself, maybe read a little bit. Um, and if you don't have much time, you don't even have to read like a whole chapter, just put on a timer, you know, for 10 minutes. But I think everybody can create 30 minutes in their day to take a little bit of time for themselves, whether or not that's at the end of the night. If you can't do a morning routine, if your mornings are really busy or you get up very early, do a nighttime routine. I think taking care of yourself alone is really really important um, and honestly starting your day like this it, it's so hard to have a bad day it happens but when you start your day on this powerful of a note it's like your heart opens up so i hope you enjoyed my morning routine if you have any questions or want me to help guide you towards building your own morning routine let me know in the comments below and we can talk back and forth with each other um i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye, -bye.